Well, I picked the wrong month to do a 30 bags in 30 day challenge. It's 105 degrees in my bathroom. Whew. Okay, hey guys, it's Sophia from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to another series. This is 30 bags in 30 day challenge for the month of July 2018. So if you are new to the channel and you don't know what this is about, basically we're spending every single day for the month of July to declutter um, the house. So it's one bag at a time. I put the rules and everything you need to know about it down below. If you look at my blog post that I posted on Friday night, today is July 1st. There is um, a bunch of rules and explanation as to what it really means. And I also have a calendar, I'll insert the picture right here, of things um, that we're going to do in order to declutter our home. So I've divided it into zones or rooms in my house. So this is mirroring basically my own setup. So if your setup is different, you have more rooms or you have less rooms, you can go by the categories. You don't have to necessarily do exactly what I'm doing. I've also added bonus items uh, like the car and toys, things like this, to just help you out if it doesn't really fit you. But Basically, the goal here is to spend the next 30 days, 31 actually, in July, to declutter our home one area at a time. So all you need is a bag, grocery bags are fine, anything smaller doesn't count, and you can have bigger bags if you have more things, all right? So we're just gonna do one area at a time. Today we are in my bathroom. Today is July 1st, day one, we are doing cosmetics, tools, skincare, and all the other junk we have in our bag. Okay, so let's get started. We are in my bathroom. This is my vanity, which by the way, I am thinking of letting go of because I've emptied it so much over the years. I'm almost um, half empty or half full. So we're gonna do cosmetics. Um, yes, palettes, let's see. Now, I got a lot more palettes since the last time I did a um, declutter in the bathroom because my good friend Melody at Transforming Melody sent me a whole bunch of palettes she don't want anymore. However, this is full and I really need to go through it. So I'm just gonna go real fast. Um, some of them I know I'm keeping, so these are the latest. Um, okay, so. She sent me this one, and I really like it. Um, this is the It Cosmetic, keeping that. So we're gonna do by categories and brands. So It Cosmetic, I'm keeping this, and I'm keeping that. All right, so that's that. Then we have Tarte. I'm keeping this, this, and this. Um, the Swamp Queen, you know what? I'm really not using it, so I'm donating this. Wow, okay. These are all the Too Faced. I'm going to keep those. And this one. All right. These cheaper ones, I actually like them, so I'm keeping that. Okay, here's another one she sent me, the Bare Minerals. I'm going to keep that. And then I think she sent me this one too. Um, I have so many repeats of this. If you look at it, they're pretty much, yeah, the same. Okay, so I can let go of this one. Keeping that. All right, the reveal. These are Coastal Scents. I kind of like those. They are knockoffs of different things. All right, Purples, definitely keeping this one. I don't like this one. And keeping this, okay. There's a little elf here that's all matte that I like. This is the winter berry. I'm keeping that. And then this one, I had it made. It's a custom made with all purple. I'm keeping it. And then this is Get Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I can let go of this. Okay, so I'm letting go of these four already. And this is the mate. And you're probably thinking, well, Sophia, you're making a really quick decision. I have been thinking about this for a long time, so it helps that I am prepared. So here is my plastic bag. Um, later on, I'm putting everything in here, but later on what I'm going to do is um, 
resort the bag into donate, recycle, and uh, trash. There's a big bug. Did you just see the big bug? <laughs> How did you get here? I have screens. Okay, anyway, moving right along, I did palettes, so I'm pretty good with that. Uh, let's do nail polish. I keep my nail polish in those little cubbies here. Um, and I've gone through them many, many times. And by the way, I just trimmed all of my nails to really, really short. Um, only because they were getting too long and annoying, so I'm starting over. Okay, a uh, bunch of nail polish. Some of them, let's face it, I never ever wear like this one. This is a Chanel, an exception. It's a brown. It's I really don't like this. Um, so no, I don't know why I bought it. Um, this one, keeping. Yeah, these are keep. Keep. And some of them, you know, you like them, and then they're just too old, <laughs> period. This cover girl here, I probably will never wear that again. This is just too dark. Um, I liked it for a long time, but mm -mm, not anymore. This is the Outlast in Fuchsia Flame. And I raved about it for a long time, but I think I'm past that kind of color. So, yeah, that can go. I have two Estee Lauder here that I really, really like, so I'm um, definitely keeping those two. So let's see what we got here. These are all, uh, these are China Glaze, and then these are OPI, so let's go for the China Glaze. Oh, this is very similar to the one I just got rid of. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, you see they're about the same, but this one is lighter, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, this one, I think, has seen better days, so that can go. Uh, red I'm keeping the dark dark purple. Oh, and it's got glitter in it. No, not keeping that and this one same thing as seen um, Better days though. I'm pretty sure if I shake it a lot um, Now you know what it's too bomb bomb for me. So that can go. Wow. I'm doing good. Okay. This one Love it. This is the Bora Bora um, Pink I'm keeping that these are OPI this is my favorite of all time from OPI. This is Grand Canyon Sunset. My goodness, do I love this. I used to wear this in college um, for years, years, years. I love this color. Grand Canyon Sunset, I'm keeping that. Okay, I got these two here. Um, I'm gonna keep the dark one, but the light one is not very pretty. And then this hot pink here is way too hot, so that can go. And I'm letting go of all of this so far. Round three of nail polish. Uh, this Bliss Genius Polish. I actually like this, but I haven't worn it in a long time. So I'm gonna give it another go. Let's see. All right, this one, the Zoya, is very, very old. I mean, really old. Uh, this is probably from the first year I was doing um, YouTube, so that can go. This one I love. This is the L'Oreal and Violet Vixen. Really like this. Today I have the wrong nails to show you nail polish, don't I? This one, I like it too. This is um, a gift from D at D Lovely Life. You want to check out a channel. Um, this is really nice. This is SC in hot, hot in the heat, like that. Okay, this one, um, I got it in one of those Ipsy bag years ago. Don't like it. Okay, that can go top speed. That was a recommendation from D actually. This is Lava number 520. D, you remember when I asked you where I could get this one? Yeah, so I'm keeping that. And then this is very, very old as well. This is the XL um, in plumped up plum. I haven't used it in a long time. And this, the color stay, I like it a lot. However, it's almost the same color than this. So since this one is newer, I'm keeping the Essie and the Revlon can go. And this is all I'm keeping. See, I emptied out an entire tray and all of these I'm letting go of. So I'm making progress. And you know, it does feel good once in a while to do a declutter, especially when you have a lot of um, similar items. Um, I'm telling you, I really think this vanity is not too big for the amount of stuff I have in there because there really isn't much. So this is my um, manicure set. So let me see what I can get rid of in here. Okay, so um, this is pretty old. That can go. Um, this I'm using it. This is the oil I put on my cuticles. 
I have two of these. Um, one is uh, obviously bigger than the other for a specific reason. All right, this, I haven't used it in a long time. This is the Hard As Nail by Sally Hansen that can go. Put it in the bag right now, so I'm letting go of this as well. This one I really, really like. This is one of those glass um, file. I'm keeping that. Okay, um, primer keeping. This is excellent. This is the OPI Envy um, Dry and Brittle Nail Strengthener, and that's the one that goes with it. It's a beautiful color. So if you're trying to grow your nail, you want to try this and that together. These are really, really good. I put the links down below just for those two, actually. Okay, and then this and this keeping. All right, so keeping this and that. I'm pretty organized, right? Make progress. Okay, the nail kit is done. Let's see what else we can find down there. This thing, it just doesn't work anymore. I've used it so much, it's like all of the sides are pretty much the same, so that can go as well. I have one more basket. Okay, um, calendula cream. Guys, I haven't used that in years. That can go. Okay, uh, the Aquaphor, I don't use it. That can go. And I have, look, you remember when I had a gazillion of those? I don't even use them anymore. The ones I'm using are in my purse and that's about it. So I have one of those travel and this one from Ipsy. I thought it was cute, but I'm looking at it now and I'm like, mm, no, okay, that can go. I'm keeping this one, this big plastic thing here, that can go. So now the question is, what do I want to do with this? Um, do I want to get rid of it or do I want to recycle it to use for something else? Um, I'm gonna think about that. I said I was gonna uh, wage a war against um, baskets, right? So I may get rid of it, I don't know. But it's useful, you never know, I may use it in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna put it on hold for now, but the bag is getting um, pretty full and that's a good thing. And uh, the more I look at this vanity, the more I'm thinking like it's ridiculous to have such a big thing now for the little bit that I've kept. Um, if you remember years ago, uh, you guys were amazed at the amount of cosmetics and makeup that I have and I really pared down, really pared down. Okay, I'm doing lipsticks and then um, the other side and then we're gonna do cosmetics and what else? A um, bunch of stuff that I have here. So you're using day one for your bathroom where you have your stuff, okay? This is to give you a good boost because what happens very often is that we start with the easy stuff and then it gets more difficult as we go along. But for me, I'm just starting with some of the most difficult, which is makeup, cosmetics, and stuff like that because this is what I really like. Um, and I'm doing that now so that way I can get it out of the way and I no longer um, agonize over the process. So, lipsticks. I think today is really going to be the day I'm finally gonna get rid of some of the lipsticks. You have seen me um, desperately figure out what I'm gonna do with them for the past five years. Like these two Max, for instance, I keep on moving them from one side of the bathroom to the other. They still smell good, they're good quality, amplified and twig. I tell you what, I'm going to keep twig but I am letting go of the amplified so that can go. Okay. Ah, oh, I didn't close this properly. Look, I damaged it. All right, we're keeping it anyway. Which one is that? Rouge Coco. I love this one. This is number 454 in jean. You know what? Let's compare the Chanel one uh, in jean with the jean by Lipstick Queen. Let's see be interesting if they end up being the exact same color. Will that be something? Okay, here they are. Now they're different. Okay, but I'm keeping them both because I like them both. This one right here, that's a Lorac. When I bought it, it was, um, there was no tester and I really like the color right here. Turns out that it's just too pale. So this, it can go. Letting go of this one. Okay, uh, Laura Mercier. I have so many of the same color. I'm gonna keep that one, this one. Look, they're all the same color. <laughs> I'm keeping that one too. Here's a long comb. My goodness, they're all the same colors. Isn't that crazy? Well, at least I'm consistent. Okay, what's this? Oh, I like this. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. All right, there is still other I know I'm keeping. These I'm keeping. Okay, so this is going to stay and I have two gone. All right. What do we have here? This can go, 
this can go this can go love this stain okay that can go three more oh yay yay okay we have this one uh this i don't think i'm gonna keep that's too brown look there's barely any difference isn't that something they all within the same range. Okay, I'm gonna let go of this one because this one is a little bit too brown for me. These are um, the sexy motherfuckers from Boots. Is it Boots? No. No, it's not. It's Soap and Glory. Okay, for crying out loud, they're almost all the same colors. All right. Keep. Keep this one, however, is too dark. So, not keeping that one. It's a great feeling. Okay, this is hair stuff. Keeping that. This I actually did the other day. These are all eyeliners and stuff. I'm keeping that um, because I use them. Uh, what do we have here? I don't use this anymore. I have so many different uh, highlighters. This one was just okay. This is the Glow All Out Soap and Glory. Had it for so long. Let me see. I bet you it stinks by now. Doesn't smell like much, but that was not the smell of success. Okay, this one, love this. Um, okay, this is all good. Um, this, I just used it this morning, so obviously I'm keeping. All right, this little guy right here, that's a sample, I can go. Okay, let's move on to this area here. This is all powders and blush. I really like this. This is um, the Celebration Foundation from It Cosmetic. However, it's the wrong color for me. It's way too pale. It shows on my skin as obvious powder so I'm gonna let that go and I will look for the color that's a little bit above that whereas this one is fair I need beige um, this I just use it today but to be honest uh, it's getting sold foundation from Estee Lauder I've had it for over six months so that can go this one I'm keeping love this one okay oh, see this thing it just keeps on breaking bothers me I gotta fix it okay this is another one that um, Melody sent me and I really really like this I'm actually wearing this today this is the Tartist uh, Pro Glow to go I really like that Melody I love that one okay um, I'm definitely keeping that this is so old that can go oh boy I'm doing good um, uh, let's do oh. how many times have you seen this one how many times four years five years Something like that, right? And um, it's gotta go. I can't keep powder for five, 10 years. Same thing with these. How long have I had those in here, right? Long time. Okay, they can go. Um, this I haven't used yet. That was from Melody as well. I haven't used it, Melody. I don't know why. I have to. Okay, um, little naked cosmetic powder. I keep that. All right, so face powder, I only have this. And this one now, that's it. Okay, so that's good. Let's go blushing. That's a sample that can go. That was a sample that can go. This Milani, those two Milanis here, I love those. So that I'm keeping. Okay, here's another Milani I'm keeping. My Bourgeois I'm keeping. That's my favorite of all time. You hear me rave about this one forever. This is the Estee Lauder in electric pink. I love that. All right, this was a sample. Uh, I have this and this that are very similar. And I have to be honest, they are way too pigmented and orangey for me. So I'm letting them go. Tarte, I'm still trying to love it. You know that, right? Um, but I use it once in a while, so I'm keeping it. And that's the peach. Uh, there was a gift um, 
I'm going to play with it a little bit more. Don't know if I'm going to keep it long term, but we'll see. Okay, so I really pared down, and then this one, that was grandma's. Um, I only use it when I go out, which is not often, you can tell. <laughs> but I love this one. This is the uh, little millennial one Estelada did for 2000. Yeah, it's that old. Ridiculous. Why am I keeping it? I don't know. Sentimental reason. Uh, and then this is a blush palette from... I can't open it. Uh, Coastal Scents. And that's really neat. So I'm keeping that. Eyeshadows. You know what? I just did that the other day. So this one was a, uh, um, a freebie from um, Elizabeth Arden. I didn't really like any of them. These I'm all going to keep. You know what? I can let go of this one. Okay. Doing good. Um, I can let go of this one. These are all the stuff. A lot of them I got in um, old glam bag. These are regular eyeshadows. I like these. These I like. This one is my favorite of all time. You cannot find it anymore. That's the dark green that did two or three years ago from Revlon. Um, that was for the holidays. Let me show it to you. And I use it as an eyeliner and I love, love this. So this definitely staying here. What do we have here? A little elf. I'm gonna keep that. Um, yeah, these are all good. This one was a freebie. Next, to be honest, I've, I haven't used it and I have too many palettes with that kind of color. Same thing with this one. I got too many palettes with that kind of color, so I can let go of this. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm doing all of this. This, I think I reviewed it and I said I was very disappointed, so that can go. All right, what do we have here? This I'm definitely keeping because that's my mom's. <laughs> so I'm keeping that. Um, mom, if you leave stuff at my house, it belongs to me. I'm just saying. Okay, this was very good. I don't know if you can see it. Very, very good. Okay. Um, doing pretty good. Oh. Don't need that. All right. Skin care. Um, hmm. I just reviewed some of those items. I really, really like most of them. There's a few that I'm not crazy about. Remember, I just reviewed uh, this um, botanics oil. But I have another one. This one here. And this one I really don't reach for at all. So I tell you what. That can go. Okay, keeping this sample, I don't need it. That can go. Um, it's a bunch of hair here. Okay, so this night cream, that's the one that goes with the day cream. And I have to tell you, it's too hot for me to keep that kind of stuff right now. It's gonna turn bad. I don't need to keep it. And then these I bought at the Japanese store and the same thing. I like them at first. But they definitely are the type of product um, that you want to use in the winter. They are just too oily for my skin during the summer, so they can go. Okay, so that, this, I actually use that in lieu of cream at night. All of this can go. Um, you know what? I got a bunch of samples. I'm not going to use them because it's too hot for me to use cream, so that can go. And then my brush shows the good. All right, see, look, there's barely anything left in this bathroom, you guys. If you watch the channel for a long time, you know that there's way less stuff in here than there used to be. Okay, so I'm still using this, but I'm not using this one. I'm using this one instead, so this can go. Okay, this technically is supposed to go for Edward, but I'm keeping that. Okay, and this one I bought at the Indian store, and um, I don't like it, so that can go. So there's not a lot going on underneath the sink because I am constantly getting rid of stuff. So most of what you see here is stuff we use all the time. Let me close this. Okay, aloe vera that Scott uses that. Um, right, now this here. I really really like this however I've had it for a long time I just don't know if it's still good um, I haven't used it yet well I mean this is like a refill I haven't used it yet so it's never been open I just don't know if it's still good 
you know what let me pull it out I'll take it on my counter I'm gonna use it tonight and see whether or not it's um, still good you can't find this anymore they discontinued it this is the beautiful skin hot cloth cleanser by number seven which is uh, boots you know this was excellent but they discontinued it so when they when I saw they were getting rid of it I bought a whole bunch and I used them all and only have one left so I'm gonna see if it's still good use that tonight I don't know how I manage this kind of heat okay this is good I don't know what it is that can go. Okay, that's mine. This is Scott's. We keep our vitamins here because that way we remember to take them. Okay, this is still good. All right. And I don't need the second basket, so I'm just going to keep my stuff in this one. So now I got two plastic baskets. You guys, it's really hot. It's really hot in here. But I'm done. Look, day one. This is this is it. This is day one, bag one. Um, it's mostly makeup, nail polish, products I'll never use, product I started using and don't like, um, stuff like I've been dragging things for four, five, six, seven years. It's time to let it go, okay? And uh, you notice there's like way less stuff than I used to have. So I am done with number one. I hope you guys are excited about this series. If you are a YouTube creator, Michelle, Melody, G, um, you know, all of uh, my folks, um, Rhonda, and uh, who else? I can't remember all of you. Uh, anyway, so if you want to do the 30 bags in 30 day challenge and you're a YouTube creator, I issued a challenge to all of you. I will create a playlist and um, all you have to do is add yourself to the playlist and we're going to do a label or tag basically for the video. It's going to be 30 bags in 30 day declutter challenge July 2018. Okay, and then you put day one, day two, day three or whatever. And um, that way everybody gets to meet you, discover your channel and see what you're getting rid of. But until then, I am going downstairs. I need to throw myself into the freezer. It is so hot. <laughs> it is so hot right now. Um, I need Scott to really step up his game and install those darn air conditioners already. Um, Cause it's supposed to be like 105 outside today uh, on Sunday, which means that it's gonna be about 118 upstairs um, when it reaches two o'clock in the afternoon. So it's still pretty early right now, but um, it's pretty hot. <laughs> okay, how hot is it? hot <laughs> so i'm out of here scott's got to install the air conditioner and then um just like i mentioned in the blog post that i uh, posted on friday i'm going to um film more videos um in one day because i need time to edit and post and you know i mean i work full time so it's difficult for me to do daily videos so i'm gonna do the bulk of the videos at least four or five days worth over the weekend so that way during the week i can just edit and post and um start filming other videos so i'm always ahead so anyway this was day number one with a big bag of junk that was nothing but failed decisions on my part when i purchased it and then delayed decisions on my part when I continued to keep it even though it's way beyond its expiration date. So bag number one, day one is over. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye.